Hey guys, so it's now been about a week uh, since we started this whole lockdown process, so I thought I'd make a quick video um, just about um, how to um, set your leaf to make sure that you can set it to charge to only 80%, which is what you're supposed to do if you're not using it very often. And uh, also I thought I'd cover um, what to do if your uh, 12 volt battery uh, goes flat, as I imagine this will be happening a lot to people. Uh, so first off, one of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to do this. You don't want to just leave your car plugged in if it's not charging. By all means, charge it when it needs to be charged, but once it's done charging, take out the plug. What happens is that the car will stay on uh, to monitor the status of the charging uh, even if there's no charge currently being received and having the um, car constantly plugged in uh, just means that that, that 12 volt battery is constantly draining uh, to monitor that uh, connector being plugged in so you basically end up with a flat battery. So as I suspected, the car is flat. Um, what you'd normally do is you'd start the car just by pressing your foot on the brake and then uh, pressing the power button. Um, but as you can see, that little annoying beeping noise is telling us that it's having major issues. And uh, most issues with a Leaf can be traced back to a 12 volt battery. Um, so at the moment, we can tell that the car is flat because it won't turn on. And then also because it's beeping at us because I tried to start it before. Um, so all you need to do in this situation, don't panic, uh, just need to pop the bonnet. And then what you can do is you can uh, take the battery out or charge in place. Um, or you can just jump start it. I'm going to go for the easier option, which is just charge in place. So I skipped the boring bit, but there you go. That's basically just a normal battery charger hooked up to a car battery. Um, what I actually have done uh, is that I've disconnected the positive terminal uh, to the car. Um, just because it was doing that beeping uh, and sometimes it'll do a clicking noise. Um, I've also had previously um, issues with the lights um, being stuck on when the battery has been really low. So if you just disconnect the 12 volt battery, it'll cut all of that out. You can charge the battery uh, without any issues. And uh, then once the battery is fully charged, you can reconnect everything and it should behave as normal. So we're going to leave this. Uh, usually it's about eight hours. Um, and then when I come back, it should be fully charged. Now, if you don't have eight hours to spare, uh, what you can do is you can just uh, do a normal jump start. Like I said, you hook up uh, any car battery or another car, put some jumper leads on, and that should be enough charge to get your car started. And then once the car's started, uh, you'll be able to drive it as normally, and when you're driving that car, um, it will be able to charge from the traction battery. So um, give that a go if you need stuff, but otherwise the easiest option is just to charge in place uh, and uh, we'll leave it like that for a while. So we'll come back to that and see how we're getting on. So it's another day, uh, car should hopefully be charged. Uh, I took this off actually last night, uh, just before I went to sleep, so I wasn't leaving it charging overnight. Um, but I'm gonna reconnect the positive terminal and we'll give it a go and see how, um, see if the battery is charged and uh, if it works, then I'll be able to show you um, how to change your charge settings as well. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Look at that, so easy as that. I just charged it. Remember, you can also jump start it and uh, that'll solve all those issues. Uh, now, what we're also going to do is we're going to have a look at that uh, charge setting. So here we go, looking at the dashboard and we're just going to look at these buttons uh, to, down here. So this is the button you use to make selections and this is the button you use to hit next. Uh, so I'll just refer to this as enter and this one is next. So what you do is you just press enter a couple of times and then eventually you'll get to the settings screen. Uh, and then we're going to press next to go down to the charge percentage. Uh, then once you're on the charge percentage, you press enter to go into that menu option. And then now you press next until you get down to 80%. And then you press enter again. And now that car is set to charge at 80% uh, every day. So that's it, that's all you need to do. Um, now if you have uh, charged your car to 100% and you want to um, sort of use that car, uh, use the energy in that to bring it down to a safe level for storage, um, but you don't necessarily uh, need to go to the shops anytime soon and you don't want to be sort of just driving out and about, um, then what you can do is you can actually just uh, put on the aircon um, just leave it running at full, uh, probably leave the windows open and uh, just come back in about half an hour and that will have uh, eaten a decent um, percentage and then just uh, leave it for another half an hour, an hour if you need to. But uh, yeah, that's all you need to do. I'll leave you to it. And um, for those of you wondering about the moustache, I just figured I'd do something with my time in quarantine. So 
uh, that's how I'm uh, getting my kicks, and um, hopefully you guys uh, get up to something fun as well. Cheers.